this is Heather Hoffman, and I'm here today to share a nearly one layer mask card using the March 2020 kit of the month. I wanted to mix and match some of those tulip images, and I wanted to um, kind of make it look like that girl was standing back behind that um, row of tulips. So I'm going to do some simple masking and some kind of um, creative coloring to kind of enhance the masking and make it look a little more detailed than it actually is. So keep watching and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to start off by stamping that tulip border kind of offset on my panel of white cardstock. I'm using Copic Friendly Ink because I'm going to color this with Copics. Uh, and I like to, because it's such a fine detail image, I wanted to stamp it multiple times for a great impression. Now I'm going to stamp it just once on masking paper. I'm not too worried about um, this image being perfect. But to save myself some time with my masking, I'm going to kind of plan out where I want that girl to stand. And as you can see, I just kind of am cutting in only to fussy cut that area. Instead of cutting all the way across the image or anything like that, um, it's kind of saving me a little bit of time. Um, and it's a super detailed image, so it's kind of nice to only need to cut the areas. And I'm only cutting along the top. Um, when we get to the coloring, I'll show you kind of a trick that um, kind of gives the look as if I cut a little bit further down in there. All right, now I'm gonna add that mask on there and go ahead and stamp my girl in place. And as you can see, there's only that little area cut out. So save me a lot of time in having to cut that out. All right, same thing, I'm gonna use my Misty to my advantage and stamp that a couple times to get a great impression. And then I can peel that mask off and look at that, it's perfect. All right, before we move on, I'm gonna go ahead and add that sentiment on there. Um, I love that beautiful scripty sentiment and it seemed to fit these images really well. So I'm going to stamp that in place again using my Misty to stamp multiple times to make sure I have that nice and crisp and dark. And then we can go ahead and move on to our coloring. I'm using three shades for most of my blending. Um, I'm starting with the lightest and just adding a quick little bit of color on each of those flowers. Then coming in with the next darkest shade and adding just a little bit on the bottom half of each of those blooms and then coming in with the final darkest color and just adding a little bit at the bottom. So I'm kind of zooming through that coloring because it's not really anything super fantastic and <laughs> unusual. So same thing, I'm coming in a little bit with that lightest green, then coming in with the next darkest shade, and then finally in with the deepest at the very bottom just to add that um, shadow effect. All right, now we're gonna move on to the jeans. And this is where um, I'm gonna use a little bit of creative coloring to give the illusion that we've um, kind of masked a little below there. As you can see, as I lay that color down on her jeans, I'm going a little bit down below the tulips, just kind of roughly coloring in where you can pretty obviously tell where her legs would go. Um, and the lines of the tulips actually help with this really well on this image. So it's pretty easy just to tuck a little extra color in there and um, it kind of just completes the picture a little more so it, it, it makes it look a little more realistic because there would be that probably showing between the, the flowers and the tulips as well. All right, in the same three colors, I'm just um, adding a little bit of shading where the shadows would be on these. And then I'm gonna move on to the hair and do the same thing. I like to start with my lightest color generally first and either mostly color the image or partly. And then I just kind of come in and follow the shadows and the lines of the image to add um, shading with each progressively darker color. And then as soon as I finish the hair, I'm going to go ahead and come down and do the same thing on the ground. Only this time I'm doing the reverse and starting with the darkest color and then fading out to my lightest. And this is going to kind of give a soft blended look. And then at the very end, I'm going to come back in again with that darkest shade and just kind of add some little dots for texture right along the bottom. For the shirt, I used a soft blue just to give some shadows to make it appear like the shirt was white. And then we're gonna finish off with a little skin tone just on her arms. A couple shades there, that's the only spot that um, we had to worry about that color. All right, to finish this off, I made a card base out of a bright yellow just to kind of help those tulips pop a little more. And I trimmed that front panel down and I'm just gonna mount it in place. And there you go, a nice flat, one layer, easy to mail card with some fun, simple masking and coloring. Thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day.